question for you. Have you ever heard the phrase, my word is my bond? I don't know about you, but I used to see it in movies, old movies, I grant you, and on TV shows when I was growing up. Yes, old TV shows. I haven't seen it much in our culture in recent years or even in recent decades. Maybe it's still in fashion, but I'm just not aware of it. So I have a question for you. How many people do you know whose word is their bond? If they say they're going to do something, you can consider it written in stone. They will do it. I hope you know many of those kinds of people, and I hope you're one of those kinds of people, because that's our topic today, a tip from God on how to live life well. In the Old Testament, the psalmist asks a couple of questions. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? Now, those actually are pretty good questions. Basically, the psalmist is asking, Hey, who gets to hang around God? The response is most instructive. The one whose walk is blameless. <laughs> what? Blameless? Does anyone meet that requirement? Even without looking at the specifics God is about to share with us, most of us are probably quite aware that we have not lived a blameless life. Fortunately for us, however, God sent his son Jesus Christ to pay the penalty for our sins so that we could have eternal life with him. But today, let's begin by looking at the list God gives us. This is the person who may live in God's presence, the person who does what is righteous, speaks the truth. They don't slander people. They don't wrong another person. They don't cast slurs on others. They despise the vile. They honor those who fear the Lord. They keep their word. They lend money to the poor without interest, and they can't be bought. Now, that's a long list, but in this episode, we only want to focus on one item. Who may dwell in God's sacred tent? Who may live on God's holy mountain? The one who keeps an oath even when it hurts. Now, I know in previous episodes, we looked at the tip that God gave concerning lying. Said we shouldn't do it. I think this is a little different. If you're like me, keeping an oath or keeping your word is not necessarily lying when you first say it. When I tell someone I'm going to do something... I fully intend to keep my word, but then something comes up. It becomes difficult, uh, inconvenient, unpleasant, and then I don't follow through with what I said I would do. Now, I could at this point share a number of stories with you from my past where I didn't keep my word. I think you would find those stories interesting, and they would be very good illustrations of the topic of this episode but I am not going to share those stories with you. Most of them would make me look bad, and I don't like looking bad, even to make a point. But more than that, many of the stories that I remember concerning this topic of keeping your word, well, they hurt when I think about them. I, I didn't keep my word. Some were over little matters, some were over important issues, but they hurt. They might have hurt an individual. They might just hurt me and my thoughts of being un... I don't want to say truthful, but being <laughs> unwilling to carry out what I said I would do. Now, I wish I could go back and fix those times when I didn't keep my word, but I can't. So I'm not going to share those stories with you. Instead, I want you to think about your life. Have you ever told someone you're going to do something, and you meant it at the time, but then for some reason, oh, usually it's a very good reason, at least in your own mind, you didn't do what you said you were going to do. Have you ever told someone that you would maybe buy something from them for a certain price, but then you found it was cheaper somewhere else? Did you buy from the person you said you would buy from, or did you go with the cheaper price? Have you ever told someone you would sell something for a certain price, and later another person offered you a better price for that item, 
Did you keep your word and sell it to the first person for less than you could get? Have you ever told someone you would be somewhere at a certain time, but then something came up? Maybe it was something very important, or maybe it was something more fun, or maybe you just didn't want to do it anymore. It was inconvenient. Did you keep your word anyway? Now let me share one personal story with you. I was teaching in high school. At the time, I wanted to get my doctorate and become a college professor, so I had applied to a number of universities, and I waited. Well, as I was waiting, the time came to sign my high school teaching contract for the following year, and I hadn't heard back from any of the universities where I had applied, so I signed. I gave them my word. And then, a few weeks later, not only did I get accepted into the doctoral program at the University of Montana, but they offered me a graduate assistant position. And that meant all of my fees were waived. We're talking free graduate school. And not only that, they were going to pay me a salary. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was enough for my family to live on. I desperately wanted this. It was more than I could ever have imagined. But I had already signed my contract. I had given my word. What should I do? Consider what advice you would have given me. But I'm not going to tell you what I did. Instead, let's go back to how we started this episode with the phrase, My word is my bond. Can people say that about you? I know it's not one of the character traits our society holds up as important today, but it is a matter of importance to God. Make it your goal that your word will be your bond. You will keep an oath, your word, even if it hurts you to keep it. And if you're like me and can think back on times when you didn't follow through and keep your word, be glad that God has offered to take care of that. God wants to forgive us and to purify us so that we can be blameless before him. I love the way the Bible describes how God deals with our sins when we turn to him. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As far as the east is from the west. What an image. Through the work of Jesus Christ, you can be made blameless so that you can come into God's presence. Tell you what, starting this week, determine to make your word your bond. When you tell someone you will do something, you will do it no matter what. Become one of those very special people who keeps an oath, even when it hurts. Let's review what we've learned in previous episodes. Don't be angry with others. Tell the truth. Your yes means yes. Your no means no. Remember all the things that God has forgiven you and be willing to show forgiveness to others. Don't gossip about other people. Be gentle in the way you treat others. And this week, focus on keeping your word, even if it hurts to do so. Choose to build your house, your life, on the rock. Live well, and may the Lord bless and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you His favor and give you His peace. Thank you.